back here in our Times Square studios in New York City. We have ABC Chief Medical Correspondent Dr. Jen Ashton here with me. And as we usually do, as we always yep. do, actually, let's start with a look at the latest coronavirus case numbers from Johns Hopkins University. We are now approaching 143 million confirmed cases of coronavirus worldwide. The death toll here still growing, growing beyond 568 thousand American lives lost and the CDC is now reporting more than 86.2 million people in the U.S. are now fully vaccinated and we have talked Jen from the beginning about the importance of, of looking at the unique risks of mm -hmm. specific populations and there is some new information about pregnant women. Yep and this is a very important population Amy so just yesterday the American Society of Reproductive Medicine issued a bold statement take a look at what they said regarding pregnant women and the vaccine they are saying that pregnant women and those seeking to become pregnant should get a COVID-19 vaccine. They are not mincing words here. They're not saying it's an option. They are recommending it. Now, why is this a bold statement? If you look to what other organizations are saying, the FDA, the CDC, and ACOG, the uh, College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists, they're a little more vague. They're leaving that decision to get vaccinated up to the pregnant woman. Now, we have to remember that pregnant women were not part of the clinical trials, so there is lacking data. Even though they're being included right now in trials, um, that's why these other organizations are a little more vague. And I know you know from your practice, I know from friends, that there are still a lot of younger women who are looking to get pregnant that's or right. who are pregnant who are on the fence about this. How do they make that decision? And first then? of all, we're talking about 4 million births in this country every year. So this is not a small number of women. They need to balance the risks versus the benefits. And while we're accumulating data thus far, there have been no significant safety signals in pregnant women who have been vaccinated with COVID-19. We know pregnant women are at higher risk of COVID-19. So this is a decision that really needs to be made based on risk versus benefit. In general, vaccines have a very safe track record in pregnancy, and that's some good news. All right, I remember needing to get the flu vaccine right. when I was pregnant. 100%. All right, Dr. Jen, thank you, you very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.